As the time has gone and the changing needs arise from the various stakeholders, uh, ICRISAT also has moved from a compartmental approach to the providing the holistic solutions to the farmers through multidisciplinary research, which further got transformed into multi-institutional consortium approach. And the emphasis basically of doing the research for the sake of research was shifted and it became for uh, research which will benefit the farmers. And it was evident in the slogan like science with a human face, uh, science of delivery, uh, discovery to science of delivery. And all these transformations are basically very much satisfying. Notable examples are like Bhuchetna in the uh, state of Karnataka, Raitu Kosam in government of Andhra Pradesh, as well as Kisan Mitra with government of Maharashtra and government of Uttar Pradesh, and also Bhuchetna in undivided Andhra Pradesh and also now in the state of Odisha. Similar examples uh, with the Prime Minister's office on strategic papers, basically in the area of Pradhan Mantri Krisi Sicha Yojana, that is um, water management, pulses self-sufficiency, soil health mapping, digital agriculture, agricultural insurance, and also basically the direct benefit transfer uh, are the results of the work what ICRISAT did along with the partners and has put a strong uh, foundation for the government of India to take these integrated holistic programs to benefit the farmers in the whole country and become an exemplar. When I look at the journey, I feel very satisfied that uh, ICRISAT management as well as my colleagues and also the support units uh, in the institute really help me particularly to tra uh, track this difficult path of bringing the partnerships, helping the farmers very effectively and uh, provided the right ambience for my passion to help the farmers was fulfilled largely because of the chance what I got in the ICRISAT. And I take uh, full pride saying that ICRISAT has done enough for me. I have done enough for the institute as well as for the farmers. And I would like to continue to do the same to benefit the farmers, not only in India, but wherever the poor farmers are there, my uh, efforts will be always there to support them through the science their development. That time we had only five scientists. From that moment, we have reached to a level where now in the development center, we have almost 160 staff with 30 scientists, and we are all self-supported with a portfolio of 63 million US dollars. And that is something which gives me the satisfaction that uh, it's not only to the farmers we provided the livelihoods, but to our colleagues and also the staff, uh, families, we really work as a team and as a team, we could conquer the uh, all difficult uh, times, whatever we had during this time. And now we are self-sufficient and that is the proudest moment for me. Everything is documented. And one satisfaction I have that whatever work we did, everything has been documented. Nothing goes with uh, Suhaswani when he goes. Everything is there in the papers, everything is there, uh, data sets are there, and the knowledge has been given to the team members so that every team member is empowered to run on their own. And I'm sure that uh, with the current projects, what they have in their hand, in next two years, when the projects will be coming to an end or the next three, four years, the team will be prospering more and definitely will bring in the new money and then help to continue the farmers. That, that's what I always tell all my people, that you be loyal to the organization, not to the individual. Do what organization needs, whether it is right, you do it. Whether the individual likes it or don't like it, don't worry for that, because we are for the organization, not for the individuals. We all are here, and in fact, uh, I consider this as our temple where Basically, we should uh, ensure that whatever is the good for organization is done always under any circumstances without any favors or uh, plans of uh, 
favoritism or nepotism uh, we should always only look for the organization's benefit where the organization will survive what is the motto of the organization that we should try to fulfill and overcome the personal biases uh, with the current changing time the time is not of the individuals now it is the time of the teams as a team if we go we will be successful and that is what we have done over the last uh, 10 years and that's where basically the team ecrisat need to really behave like a team ecrisat not only in writing but in actions because actions talk louder than what you write or what you say and that's the principle which every one of us need to follow